Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to level up your planetary habitation skill in Starfield. This is the skill that allows you to establish outposts in progressively more extreme environments. Here you can see that I'm currently challenge progress 0 out of 5 in planetary habitation, which means that I need to build 5 different habitable planetary outposts to level up the skill. And you might think that habitable means that you have to build a hab with a head and all sorts of other things, but it's a lot easier than that, and I'm going to show you the simplest build possible to get this skill leveled up. So to start, I pick a system, and it's going to be the Albertini system. And we're going to head over to the planet Albertini 3. So as it happens, as we arrived in the system, we had a random encounter with some pirates. I'm going to leave that in this video. There'll be a time code on the screen if you want to skip. I make fairly short work of the pirates anyway. If you want a ship like this for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to Major Slack's build video where he builds a ship very similar to this. There we go. So now we'll land on Albertini 3, which is where we're going to play, place our outpost. So what you'll do as you land on the planet, you'll need to exit your ship. And then you're going to open your scanner. For me, that's F on the keyboard to open the scanner. And then once you've got the scanner open, you'll see the shortcut for outpost the bottom there which is R for me and that puts you into the outpost build menu and starts you off with the outpost beacon which is always the first thing that you have to place so you get your beacon you find a place for that and you confirm it with the e key and once that's in place you'll be dropped in normally into the structures menu if you see another menu switch to structures using Z or C and we're going to want to place an outpost airlock again you Confirm that build with E, and then you press confirm with E again, and then the outpost is in place. And that's actually all you need. If you check your skill now, you'll see that it's progressed from whatever it was up by one. We are now on one of five. And since we no longer need this outpost, we can just simply go ahead and delete it. It won't affect progress. We can Move it using R, we hold down R, and then we're going to travel to a different planet. It needs to be a planet that you travel to, not a moon. So just choose another planet. Here we're going to try Albertini 2. I'm going in now. As it happens, I met another random encounter here. I'll skip through this one. We'll cut to landing on the planet. Let's do the scan. And land. As it happens, in this example, I landed on a planet where the environment was actually too extreme to build an outpost. So you'll notice that when I try to place the outpost, I get the error. This is the error that shows you that you don't have enough skill in the skill we're trying to level up. As it happens, the atmosphere was toxic and I hadn't noticed that. That's fine, we'll just choose another planet to go to. Here I choose to move to Aquila instead. Got an outpost there. Again, any suitable planet that you have not already built on will do. And even if you have built on it, you can simply delete the buildings and replace them to gain a skill progression. So here, we'll place the beacon. And then as I place the airlock, you'll see that the skill level, a little pop-up comes up to indicate that our skill progression has moved to 2 out of 5. And that is all you need to keep progressing the skill. You just repeat that for 
as many planets as you need in order to unlock the next skill level. And eventually, you'll be able to place outposts almost any way you like. You can see the planetary habitation has moved up to challenge progress 2 out of 5. And we're currently on rank 2 out of 4. And as you can see, the ranks gradually increase where you can put your outposts. So, best of luck with all that, and I will catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.